guys happy friday or sunday i'm not quite sure when i'm gonna actually get this video edited because i've just been really busy lately and trying to scale stay on schedule has been more difficult but i want to make this video kind of around kind of about some of my favorites um as you know we recently moved and a lot of different things have happened but anyways i wanted to show this real quick i'm hopefully going to put my son down after this and then um i can talk more to you guys but let me show you this real quick and yes it's later in the day and i still have my pajamas on but that's just the type of day that it's been with my almost two year old so let me show you So one of my new favorites is, let me get it focused, okay, and my bed is still a mess, but anyway, so one of my new favorites is this pajama set that I got from Myers, and I think it is super cute, and it's so comfy. I love the pants, they're like this navy blue, and they're pretty stretchy, and I love that it has a tank top. It's been perfect for this time of year where we've actually been harder, hotter than we normally are here in Indiana, and it does have, I don't know how well I can show it, it does have a lower, like, cut in the back which is kind of nice and helps keep you cool but I think these pajamas I got them on sale I think I'm going to check on him okay I think these pajamas I got on sale for 15 bucks at Myers, and I still had a gift card so it worked out perfectly and I think I have a sticker on me from my son so um I hope to show you guys some more favorites here in a minute so my two-year-old is asleep thankfully he's been a pretty good napper here lately but bedtime <laughs> bedtime has been an hour to an hour and a half long process so He's asleep now, and um, I guess real quick I'll just kind of give an update of him. I have a little boy who's turning turning two in June of 2021, so this year, and I've made quite a few videos with him, and I'm glad that I made those videos because I hope they can be really helpful to anyone else who has a little boy or who's struggling with breastfeeding. I made several videos about my breastfeeding journey, but me and my husband have kind of decided not to include him too much in my videos anymore. I don't mind making, I don't mind him being uh, in my videos here and there, but maybe not so many videos just focused on him or where he is as a toddler. I may still talk about some of his favorite things as a toddler or things I do with him, but I don't know how much I will include him on here. But he's doing good, he's healthy, and he's just being a little boy in the terrible twos. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of talk about some things, new things that I love in my new house. Me and my husband recently moved. Um, we've been in this house now for two months, and as you can tell, there's still boxes that need unpacking. We are just now this week going to hopefully finally get um, some of our decor hung up. My books are still kind of a hot mess that I'm trying to get organized. One thing I've been really doing, I did this before and I'm trying to do it now, is declutter and get rid of a lot of things. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a minimalist, but I do like watching a lot of their videos, and there's just so much extra stuff we have in our houses that we don't use. So I've probably made five or six trips already to Goodwill with trunk full of stuff. So some of the new things that I love in my house, and I'll try to leave some links below if I can. One of my new favorite things is this rug. My new house has like completely wooden floors. There is no carpet anywhere in this house. And I got this rug for the living room. I love that it kind of goes with my curtains. And I got it from Lowe's. I actually don't remember the price, but I will pretty confidently say it was less than $200. Um, it's an 8x10. Um, it was really easy to roll out. There wasn't any kinks in it that needed to be straightened out, and I really, really love this rug. So far, my two-year-old has not gotten uh, too many stains on it, so we will see how much I like this lighter rug in the future. I also absolutely love my kitchen table. I actually bought this before we moved, so we really wanted a new table. Um, we had never had a new table before, so we were pretty excited, and um, I got this table from Ashley's Furniture. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the color of wood on top and the legs, and it fits currently. Mm, we have it set for six people, but you could easily slide another chair in on both sides and fit eight. Um, it's pretty easy to keep clean with my son. And we love the chairs too. You could buy chairs that matched it, but we bought the ones off Amazon, which I'll try to leave link below, and they go perfectly. I was worried that they wouldn't, but they do. And we decided to get a bench on one side because I like that look. And the bench did not come with the chairs. We had to buy them separately, but they do match pretty good. Um, I will say when I was shooting this video in the... I'm checking my son. I will say in this video when I was shooting it, the lighting does make it look like it doesn't match as well. But I promise if you saw it in person with the normal lighting it would match good i think i already said it but i got this from ashley's furniture and it came in a box and my husband and my dad put it together and said it was super easy for the shower curtain i 
don't know if everybody do, does this but i was so focused on finding the perfect shower curtain i knew i wanted to do kind of a blue theme in the bathroom and i mean i searched amazon and websites and just could not find it and that's one thing i've learned with this house i've been searching for like the perfect item a lot and a lot of times you may find it while searching but just kind of give it a rest and you'll find it when you find it. So I wasn't even planning on finding it when I found it at Walmart. And I love this curtain. I believe it was 14 to $20 and I think you can still buy it at Walmart and I'm really happy with it. I love the whole like kind of look of the shower curtain and the look of my curtains. I wanna say it's called like man mandolin pattern. I could be wrong, but I absolutely love that pattern and I'm super happy with my curtain and kind of doing a blue theme in my bathroom. Our TV stand we also debated. We had another TV stand when we moved, but it was for a cur for a corner, and our TV is now not in the corner, so we got this TV stand off Amazon, and we like it. It looks very nice. I, it does sit lower than we would kind of like, but it's fine. Uh, it looks really nice. It was pretty easy to put together. I will say my husband did say that putting the pieces together, it looks nice, but you can kind of tell it's on the cheaper side of materials. So we recently got it so i can't say the quality and the length that it will have i assume it will last for several years which then it paid for itself it was only 119 dollars i think on amazon um but he just said you can kind of tell a difference in the quality of materials when building it but it does look very nice and another thing i want to talk about is this couch from ikea which i am currently setting on well, I'll leave the name of the couch here because I'm probably going to botch how you say it. But anyways, we ended up falling in love with this couch. So our house has three bedrooms and we have like a little den area, which I'm currently in. And we didn't want to give up one of our bedrooms as a guest bedroom. So we decided to get a rollout, um, kind of a rollout couch instead of having to put the air mattress up all the time. And we saw this one at Ikea and we absolutely loved it. Well, then everything with COVID happened with shipping and stuff and just different factors went in. Ikea got super backed up on all their stuff. We went to Ikea one weekend and I would say 50 to 60% of the stuff was sold out and you had to join an email or text list for them to text you when it came in. Well, I got finally got a text that this couch came in and I like jumped on the gun to go get it. Like it wasn't even off the loading dock when I purchased it and it was the only one and I talked to someone at Ikea and they said with this couch it's only in this area in the Indiana region um, it's only coming in one or two per truckload so if you want it you might want to grab it right away because it could take a couple months to get another one in and they might not have that many when they do come in but we absolutely love this it's pretty comfy it pulls out pretty easy and my son actually likes to play with it when it's pulled out also, my husband loves how long it is. My husband's about six feet tall and he can actually stretch out on the couch, which he thought was pretty cool because a lot of the other couches he cannot stretch out completely. Um, we haven't had to sleep on it all night yet, but just laying on it, kind of lounging on it, it is pretty comfy. And there's also some storage in it, which I absolutely love. So you can keep sheets and blankets and stuff like that in it. Okay, just a couple little things I want to talk about because at the end of the day, you know, I do love clothes. I absolutely love this skirt I got from Target, or no, I got this from Kroger's. One of our Kroger's here in Indiana actually sells clothes, which is still kind of odd because when I think of Kroger's, I think of a grocery store. Um, this is pretty long. I would say it's kind of midi length. I think it's called midi length. It's in between the knee and your ankle. But anyway, it is so comfy. It's almost like a jersey material. And I love the stripes because you can pair it with some different shirts. And like I said, it's so soft and it does have a bit of a split in the sides, which give you a little more room to move your legs or climb in the car when you're wearing a skirt. But they had several different colors of these and I think it was $15 or less. Another super cute find was this Target dress and I actually already wore it once this week and this just came out of the dryer. But it is this tank top dress and it is dark blue on top, like you can tell it lightens, the blue lightens in the middle and white on the bottom. It also has the split on the bottom so you have a little, so you can easily move your legs a little more when you're getting out of a car. But it's a tank top and it's perfect for this coming spring and summer. I absolutely love this dress and I know this dress was less than $20 from Target. And I think they had a couple different colors, color types too. So just a little bit of a life update because this might be funny years down the road because it's becoming more funny. But like I said, we moved in March and then within a month of moving I actually think within two weeks of moving me and my son were playing outside we have these geese here in Indiana and I think they're like French Canadian geese I think that's what they're called but anyways they're illegal to kill and there was 
one had laid an egg in our yard me and my son were not near the egg but one day when we were out walking in our driveway my son likes to walk around the cars and touch the tires i saw two geese in my neighbor's yard and they were staring at my son and um i should have followed my mother instinct and just went inside but i didn't and anyways my son just looked at it like still not going towards it just glanced at it and that goose charged right at my son and like head down running full force at my son so i went and grabbed him and we have a gravel driveway and when i turned around i fell with my son i kind of dropped him thankfully he was okay because it was still pretty cold here he had a hat on and a coat which really helped protect him but my arm and everything got all scratched up and i ended up um hurting my arm so much i couldn't turn my hand like this and that kind of scared me because I read that could be a sign of a break. So when we went to the doctor, overall my x-ray looked fine, but they said they could see there could possibly be a slight fracture. Um, so we kind of treated my arm for that. So I ended up going to Tennessee my parents were helping me, but that's another reason things have been kind of delayed with my channel and stuff like that. My arm is just now getting to where I can move in. I did go to a doctor a couple weeks ago who said it could have possibly still been a slight fracture, but due to me not having as much pain as he would think that other patients have had i might have just banged up the ligaments and stuff really good um so who fully knows but <laughs> if you see a goose in your yard just follow your instincts but that's kind of been my life here lately is just recovering with an arm injury arm injury um trying to deal with a two-year-old unpacking still so i hope to make more videos in the future but i did want to kind of share just new things that i have been loving in my house um, I hope I haven't I hope I haven't rattled on too long. If you guys like this video, please give us a please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions about the items, just ask them below and have a great weekend. Bye guys.